Good Morning Live on NECN. Every man out there has a story about uncertainty, love, joy, or tragedy. And one group is encouraging men to share these stories. And now they have the Good Men Project, a new book and a documentary. Here's a little bit of the movie. Sometimes back home in the States, I feel as if I'm standing on a beach and there are waves smothering me. Waves of advertisements for junk I don't need. Profiles of people who've never done anything except be famous. Of politicians mouthing platitudes. And sometimes I feel like I can take just one picture and it lets me grab onto something that's real in this world. That was the Pulitzer Prize winning photographer Michael Camber, now with the New York Times. And his is just one of the many stories in the Good Men Project, a book that really tries to take a snapshot of what it means to be a man in America today. And joining us this morning is the project founder Tom Matlack and one of the co-editors of the book, Larry Bean. Larry and Tom, good to have you here. Thanks so for much for having us. Thank you very much. Tom, let's start with you. Uh, what were you trying to get at? What was the purpose of this book and, and, and documentary? Well, um, we kind of think that men at this point are at a, at a turning point um, and that and, and many of us are really asking what's important, whether you're uh, working on Wall Street or you just got uh, laid off at a GM plant or you're at, like Michael Camber uh, covering the war in Iraq uh, or even if you're um, a, a former inmate of Sing Sing, um, what it means to be a man, what it means to be a good father, what it means to be a good husband, what it means to be a good worker, what it means to be a good son are issues that we think are, are really important. And so we started this foundation, um, which really has four parts. It has the book, the, the, the documentary film, which you saw a clip of. It has uh, a, a website, goodmenproject.org, and it has live events. We had a huge um, premiere last night at the ICA for a little horse, because uh, we had 500 people there and uh, had just a great, great time. It's a wonderful venue. Um, what did you find out, Larry? I mean, did you uh, find out that men know what it's like or what it means to be a man in this country, or are there all sorts of concepts about that? I think so. I think one of the things with the book is that the, just the variety of stories that are in it. Uh, what I was looking for is readability as well as accessibility. We wanted to have stories that were very compelling as well as stories that would reach a broad range of people. Uh, what surprised me really was, I think, the honesty that a lot of these men brought to their stories, that they, they were willing to really kind of bear their souls, and, and that makes for really compelling reading. Let's look at a little bit more of two men uh, talking about what it means to be caregivers. Take a look. You know, Peter and I spent the whole day inspecting apartments, and this is one of the last apartments on the list. And we walked in, and then we could hear something. And Peter knew exactly where it was. He went over to the closet, he opened it, and there were two little kids there. And when the social services woman came and I had to hand him over to her, I felt, I felt like I was giving away my own son. Do you know where I go to work every day? I miss you. Mama. She's the only person I give my life to without question. You always try to do the right thing, you always do the wrong thing. But that's what a good man tries to do. A good man tends his children best he can. A little bit more from the Good Men Project. And gentlemen, I, I'm wondering what you think. I mean, I, I, I heard this man talk about what he feels he has to do every day. But there are a lot of young men in our country who are adrift and don't know what their role is and don't know what it is to be a man. And I'm wondering if you saw that and whether this book would be good for them. In fact, um, the book, one of the things that was really interesting was uh, my, I have a 13-year-old son, and uh, I shared the book with him, and, and he was at the uh, premiere last night, actually, with one of his friends. And what was surprising to me is that the book obviously deals with you know, some difficult issues, war, uh, divorce, death. Uh, but those are issues that, as a 13-year-old male in our country, uh, my son's trying to grapple with. And you know, for the first time, I was really able to have you know, a very deep conversation with him about um, what it means to be uh, a soldier in Iraq. He, he kind of had this idea that he wanted to, to join the army because he thought it was, you know, going to be like Jason Bourne. And if you watch even that short clip of Michael Camber, you get a real sense that it's something different. And we were able to have a, a much more, uh, a much deeper conversation. Um, in fact, our foundation, um, all the royalties go to uh, Boys and Girls Club uh, of America and Big Brothers Big Sister, amongst others. And so they were there last night. Some of the bigs and littles were there last night. Uh, some of the members of Boys and Girls Club. Um, and so we really think there's a connection between addressing this, this conversation amongst men 
and then also helping uh, boys, particularly boys at risk who don't have mentors, don't have fathers in many cases. Um, and that's why um, all, the, all the royalties from the book and the DVD go to that foundation to help those kids. Well, it is certainly a worthy project. And Tom Matlack and Larry Bean, thank you so much for being here. Oh, the book, once again, is The Good Men Project, Real Stories from the Front Lines of Manhood. It is out November 15th, so it'll be out soon along with the movie. And for more information on both, you can go to the website that Tom mentioned earlier. It is goodmenbook.org.